uh, welcome back. In my last video, we found, we solved this equation uh, of sine 3x plus 2 cos x is equal to 0, and we got three solutions. Okay, now, moving on to question number 3, we have to differentiate here. So, are we using the uh, formula of polynomial? So the formula is d by dx of x to the power n is n x to the power n minus 1. Now this is how you can remember whenever you uh, differentiate a polynomial you decrease, you drop the power down and decrease the power by 1. That's how I remember. Dropping, you have dropped this down it will, it will get multiplied and then you decrease this power n by 1. So yeah I want to different, differentiate this function with respect to x so this is this is the derivative operator, so d by dx of 4x plus d by dx. This I'm going to write as 6x to the power negative 2. So differentiation of x is 1. Okay, so or if you think about it, if you consider this as a line, what's the gradient? The gradient is 4, so the derivative or differentiation is nothing but the gradient function. So I'm asking what's the gradient here? So the gradient is 4. Very simple. And here we can apply this rule. You drop the power down and decrease the power by 1. So if you drop the power by, so if you drop the power of negative 2 down, it becomes negative 12x to the power negative 2 take away 1. So let us simplify that. That is 4 minus 12x to the power negative 3. This is an answer, but the most simplified answer is 4 minus 12 over x cubed. Easy. Okay? So let us move on to the next question. Integrate this function. Now, integration, you should know, is the opposite of differentiation. So let me write the formula of integration of x to the power n dx is you do the opposite so the formula is x to the power n plus 1 divided by n plus 1 plus c this is the constant of integration okay so the same you're doing the opposite okay you can always check your answer uh, you're not allowed the graphic calculator but the graphic calculator you can check this answer okay uh, so let us so this is, you can distribute the integration. So this is integration of 4x dx plus integration of 6x to the power negative 2 dx. So this becomes, here the power is 1. In integration, in differentiation, you decrease the power 1. Uh, in, in, in differentiation, you multiply here in Sorry, in differentiation you multiply and here you divide. In differentiation you take away by 1, you decrease by 1, and here in integration you increase by 1. That's how simple it is. So to increase this power by 1, that is 4x to the power 2, and you divide by that power, divide by 2, plus 6x to the power you have to decrease or increase this by 1. So I'll write negative 2. It's always safe to write like this. Over this, which is negative 2 plus 1 plus the, con the constant of integration. So this will simplify to 2x squared. This is plus, let me write one more step, 6x to the power negative 1 over negative 1 plus c. So this is simplifies to 2x squared minus 6 over x plus c. Now you should know that x to the power negative 1 is 1 over x. So this is the answer. 2x to the power 2 minus 6 over 
x okay let us look at the next question okay in an arithmetic progression the first term is negative 10 the 15th term the 15th term is 14 and the last term is 41 find the sum of all the progression okay so yeah so we can say the t1 the first term so if we can say t1 is negative 10 uh, the 15th term so t15 is 11 and uh, tn for the last term is 41 you want to find the sum of all the terms so t1 <coughs> so let me write sorry let me write the formula of arithmetic progression so tn is a plus n minus 1 times d so here uh, if tn is t1 is 10 so t1 is 10 implies if you put one here this becomes zero so we can see our a is negative 10 the first term is negative 10 okay now what do we know t15 t15 is 11 this implies t15 can be written as a plus if you use put 15 here it is 14 b you understand okay 15 is a plus 14 d what is t15 t15 is 11 what is a it is negative 10 plus 14 times d okay so let me so this is uh, i'm going to add 10 to both sides so 21 is equal to 14 divide 14 times d now if you divide this side by 14 you have to divide this side by 14 so what do you get this implies d is equal to uh, 21 divided by 14 so you can divide both by 7 so if you divide this by 7 that is 3 halves so or this implies d is 1.5 okay so we know a and d and you want to find now your you want to find the last term is 41 so you want to find which term is 41 here okay so this is a five mark question so it is so let me let me rewrite so what do we know the tn is again tn is a plus n minus 1 times t so we know a is negative 10 that is a yeah a is negative 10 and d is 1.5 so and we also know that tn is 41 so we can say 41 is equal to a is negative 10 plus n minus 1 times d is 1.5 so let us simplify this so this is 41 is equal to negative 10 i'm going to distribute this 1.5 so this is 1.5 n minus 1.5 times 1 is 1.5 okay so this is 41 is equal to negative 10 take away 1.5 is negative 11.5 plus 1.5 n i'm going to add uh, if i'm adding 11.5 to this side i'd add 11.5 to the other side so what will happen so this is say 52.5 am i right 52.5 is equal to 1.5 n so i'm going to divide this right this side by 1.5 so to divide this side by 1.5 so my n is 52.5 divided by 1.5 which is same as 525 divided by 15 so you can use a calculator you can use the electronic calculator that you allowed in exam so this is my electronic calculator which is 525 divided by 15 so that is 35 so that's fine so i can say now n is my n is 35 
okay i'll continue in the next video to answer this question thank you very much